Hi, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, we will discuss accounting for partnership dissolution wherein an existing partner will retire from the partnership. So let's start. Okay, as we all know, partnership is a contract between partners, di ba? However, in some cases, pwede pong mangyaring mabawasan si partner. If mababawasan si partner, ang tawag po natin doon ay retirement of a partner. So meaning, mababawasan tayo ng partner, sabi natin tatlo, magiging dalawa. So, ano yung mga reason bakit kailangan magkaroon ng retirement of a partner? So, meron po tayong dalawa. So, yung una, we have a involuntary retirement. So, meaning wala po diyang uh, control yung partners. Then, we also have the voluntary, ibig sabihin nito, by mere mutual decisions of the partnership or the partners. So, under involuntary, meron po tayo dyan dalawa. If you say involuntary, out of control ng partner. So, may event na nangyari, kaya nagkaroon ng involuntary retirement. So, under involuntary, of course, yung pinakasikat, death of a partner. So, pag namatay si partner, automatic po, dissolve na si partnership. Kasi nga, what, this specific partner can no longer fulfill his obligation in the partnership. So, if that's the case, automatic po, dissolution agad tayo under retirement of partnership, involuntary. Another way ng involuntary is we have incapacity of a partner. If we say incapacity of a partner, any any events na nagkaroon siya ng certain reason of incapacitation example niyan uh, naging baliw or kaya naman naging disabled uh, where he can no longer fulfill his obligations so automatic po involuntarily retired na si partner so pag-uusapan po natin yan on the next video so for today's video we will focus on the voluntary retirement of a partner so, if we say voluntary, so kailangan po mag-agree lahat ng partners na mag-retire na nga yung specific partner na to. Kasi hindi naman siya pwedeng umalis kung kailan niya lang gusto kasi meron silang kontrata. However, if they agree na aalis na talaga sa retirement partner, meron mga options na nilatag ang ating civil code on how to uh, retire from the partnership. So, ito po yung i-discuss natin maya-maya onte. So, number one, the old partner will sell his share to a new partner wherein ibebenta lang ni old partner yung kanyang share dun sa outside partner. So, magpapalitan lang po ng uh, partner natin. So, pwede rin naman si old partner, ibebenta nyo na lang po yung capital interest niya dun sa existing partner or partners. Then lastly, pwede rin naman po si old partner will withdraw his share directly from the partnership. So, ibig sabihin po, mababawasan yung asset ng partnership kasi kukuhain na yan mismo ni retiring partner. Okay, before the retiring partner can actually claim his money from the partnership or he can receive his share from the partnership, of course, there are certain accounting procedures that have to be followed, diba? So, I noted four, pero may mga cases na madagdagan yan, they, uh, depende sa sitwasyon. So, number one, allocate the profit share of the retiring partner in case that retirement takes place during the accounting period. So, book need not to be closed for practical reason. So, ibig sabihin po kapag nag-retire siya during the accounting period, so ibig sabihin, meron pang profit na hindi pa nade-distribute sa kanya, kailangan natin yan ibigay. So, for example, nag-retire siya ng September, so kailangan natin ibigay yung profit niya from January to September. So, next, we also need to update the capital balance of the retiring partner by closing his drawings account. So, ibig sabihin po kapag may drawings account, i-close na natin yung sa capital kasi uh, mag-re-retire na rin naman siya. So, may mga cases na may mga prior period error, so it has to be closed as well, di ba? So, third, of course, if there are any revaluation or bonus na nilatag yung mga partners before his retirement, so ita they have to be considered. Then, last one, of course, settlement to the retiring partner. So, kailangan lang natin tunson din para malaman po natin kung magkano ba yung matatanggap ng retiring partner, ng retiring partner. Okay, so let's have an illustration. Let's say, ready, set, and go are partners with capital balances of 200,000, 300,000, and 100,000 respectively. Profit and loss ratio is 442, and 9 months later, go decided to retire from the partnership. So his drawings account as a debit balance of 20,000 pesos at this date, and the net income of the current year is 200,000 pesos. So these are the requirements. First requirement, update the capital balance of the retiring partner. Number two, close the drawings account of the retiring partner. Number three, record the partner's retirement based on this option. So independent cases po yan. 
For example, letter A, his interest is personally paid by Ready for 140,000 pesos. In this case, Ready purchased the interest of Go. Sa letter B naman, stop an outside party personally paid Go for 100,000 pesos. Letter C, his interest was personally paid by Set for 130,000 pesos. The partnership agrees to revalue the, the land first before the transfer of interest. Letter D, the partnership will pay Go for 90,000 pesos, difference to be recorded as bonus. Letter E, the partnership will pay Go for 150,000 pesos, asset of the partnership should be first revalued. So, let's proceed first dun sa ating first requirement tsaka second requirement. Okay, so let's proceed now dun sa first two requirements. So, sabi natin, update daw yung capital balance ni retiring partner which is si Go. And also, close the drawings account of the retiring partner. So, update the balance, of course, mas maganda kung gagamit po tayo ng table. So, sa table natin, ito po yung dapat maging itsura niyan. So, we need to go put the capital balance beginning of the retiring partner, which is Go. So, ang kanyang capital before the retirement is 100,000 pesos. However, hindi pa din naka-include yung kanyang profit sharing ng January 1 to the date of retirement, which is 9 months. So, basically, baka end of September yan. So, ibigay muna natin yung profit sharing niya. So, ang profit sharing po natin, which is 20% or 2 over 10, kasi nga 4 for 2. Then, multiply natin dun sa net income uh, within 9 months, which is 200,000 pesos. So, basically, 200,000 times 2 over 10 or 200,000 times 20%. So, ang mapunta po kay Go is, will be 40,000 pesos. Then, sabi dun sa statement sa taas, meron daw debit balance si drawing sa account. So, it has to be deducted sa ating capital account. So, minus yan. So, the drawing sa account, ang minus tayo ng 20,000 pesos. So, after all the adjustment, the adjusted balance of capital balance before the ultimate retirement of Go will be 120,000 pesos. So, okay. So, punta na tayo sa journal entries. So, ang magiging journal entries natin dalawa, una, yung sharing of profit, pangalawa, yung pag-close ng drawings account into capital account para pwede na natin e-record kung ano man yung settlement na ibibigay natin kay Go, which is yung retiring partner natin. So, e-record muna natin yung sharing of profit. Sabi nga natin last time, it is not necessary to close the book. So, ibibigay lang po natin yung para kay retiring partner. So, na-compute natin 40,000. So, basically, we just need to debit income summary 40,000. Then, credit go drawings 40,000 pesos. So, for the closing of drawings account to capital account, so, i-compute muna natin magkano na lang ba yung balance ng drawings account. So, based dun sa statement sa taas, meron daw tayong debit balance na 20,000 pesos. However, since binigyan natin siya ng profit sharing na 40,000, so, nagkaroon na po tayo ng credit balance na 20,000 pesos, which will be closed sa ating capital account. So, ang magiging journal entry naman natin dyan will be debit go drawing kasi nga meron tayong credit balance. To close that, we have to debit that. So, ulit, debit go drawings 20,000, then credit go capital 20,000 pesos. So, after this adjustment, so the capital balance of go will now be 120,000 pesos. Okay, since we already computed the updated balance of the retiring partner, so, which we already computed earlier, yan. So, capital balance, 100. Share profit, 40. Drawing sa account, 20,000. Adjusted balance, 120,000 pesos. So, pwede na po tayo mag-proceed doon sa ating ultimate goal, which is the retirement of partner. So, ngayon, nagbigay mo ng independent cases kanina. So, isolve natin yung isa-isa. So, mag-focus muna tayo doon sa first two. So, sabi daw dyan, record the partner's retirement based on these options. So, first option, his interest is personally paid by Ready for 140,000 pesos. As we remember, Ready is an existing partner, is a uh, is an existing partner. So, basically, from 3 magiging 2, ang matitira na lang si Ready tsaka si Seth. Since ang transaction na to is personal between Ready and Go, so therefore, any gain or loss is not recorded in the partnership books. So, kapag nagkaroon man ng gain or si, si Ready or si Go, wala pong pakialam doon si partnership kasi nga personal transaction yun between them. So basically, the entry is just a transfer of interest based doon sa balance na nakalagay doon sa ating partnership book. Sa case natin, 
the capital balance of go is 120,000. So therefore, only 120,000 will be transferred to ready. So basically, the journal entry should be debit go capital 120,000. Then ita transfer natin yan kay ready. So credit ready capital 120,000. So, kapag nilatag po natin yung partner's equity, so, ganito lang naman yung magiging itsura niyan, di ba? So, before the transfer, ang capital balances natin kay ready, 200,000. Kay set, 300,000. Kay go, 120,000. Ang total natin, 620,000. So, please take note na hindi muna natin nilagay yung sharing profit ni ready at ni set kanina kasi hindi pa naman natin kinuklose yung libro. So, basically, after the end of the year, magkakaroon lang tayo ng two distribution. First distribution yung net income na nangyari ng January to September, then another distribution naman, yung net income na na-generate from October to December. So, since hindi naman natin kinlose yung book, okay lang na 200,000 muna and 300,000 yung ilalagay natin sa partners ni Reddy at ni Set. So, since ang transfer uh, capital credit lang natin is 120, so ilalagay mo lang. So, transfer natin minus kay go 120, Tapos ilalagay natin yan kay Reddy kasi binili lang niya, binili naman ni Reddy kay Go 120 although ang binayaran niya is 140,000. As you can see, nagkaroon dito ng gain si Go kasi ay nareceive niya 140 pero ang binigay niya lang na interest kay uh, Reddy is only 120,000. So yung 20,000 gain, ignore kasi nga personal gain lang yun ni Go at walang kinalaman dun si partnership. So, update, the updated balance after the transfer will be ready, 320,000, then kay set 300,000. Kaya go, wala na kasi nga binenta niya yung interest niya kay ready. So, the total capital balance still 620,000 pesos. So, dun naman sa letter B, stop, which is an outside party, personally paid go for 100,000 pesos. So, ganun lang din po dahil personal transaction yan between stop, which is an outside party and go, so, any gain or loss is not borne by the partnership. So, hindi po natin yun ere-record. Ere-record lang po natin kung magkano yung capital balance na nagay sa ating books. Sa case natin, 120,000. So, record lang yan as is. So, debit tayo ng go capital, 120,000. Then, credit tayo ng stop capital, 120,000 pesos. So, kapag nilatag po natin yung table ng partner's equity, so, ganito lang din naman magiging itsura niyan. Parehas lang. Sa case natin, magkakaroon tayo ng bagong partner, which is si stop. So, partner's equity before transfer, 200, 300, 120. Total natin, 620. So, ang ta-transfer lang po natin kung magkano yung ibinigay ni go kay stop. Sa case natin, 120,000. So, minus tayo kay go ng 120. Then, plus tayo kay stop, which will be the new partner, 120,000. So, the updated balance of the partner's equity will be Kay ready, 200,000. Kay set, 300,000. Kay stop, 120,000. So, total still, 620,000. For the profit distribution po, of course, yung January 1 to September, hindi kasama stop kasi nga, hindi naman siya partner during that time. So, basically, magkakaroon ng dalawang profit distribution. Yung January to September, ibibigay lang yun kay ready, tsaka kay set. Then, yung the October to December, so, tatlo na po silang mag -ahate. So, ayun lang po yung treatment kapag may purchase of interest, kapag nag si partner. So, basically, wala tayong pakialam dun sa gain or loss ng transaction kasi nga, hindi naman po kasama si partnership dun. So, only one of the partner is involved or the retiring partner and the new partner or kaya naman kay existing partner.